deep in the heart of Texas. We're in the business of winning. Don't bet against me. I don't, don't bet anyone. Don't lose anyway. your life. Ian, you won last week. Ren will join us next week. So uh, if you want to lead us off with your five games, go ahead. Dude, this first one, uh, dude, I'm still torn. This is going to be a tough one, dude. And I think it's probably the biggest game on the schedule. Ohio State minus four and a half versus Penn State. Yeah, for sure the biggest dude. game. There's not a lot of – it's kind of a down week on big games this week. Yeah. I mean, this game, though, usually it's been – Penn State's the only one has been like kind of in striking distance the last few years of just kind of the dominance of Michigan and Ohio State in the Big Ten. I mean, I understand this is it's by far the best opponent that Penn State has played, but the defenses on these two teams are just nuts. Uh, Penn yeah, State's Penn State, the, yeah, shoot. That's pretty impressive. Dude, the second best scoring defense, first in yards allowed. Second in stop rate, uh, like when opponent gets into the red zone, 85% of the – that can't be right. 85%? Oh, no, no, no. Stop rate is 85% of opponent's drives end with zero points. Pretty nuts. That's yeah, um, pretty good. Ohio State's defense, third in scoring, seventh in yards allowed. I was, I was kind of leaning Ohio State because their playmakers are more – upperclassmen i feel like penn state is kind of if they i feel like if they get to the playoff this year they're one year ahead of schedule but i just can't after penn state just dominated an iowa team that i believe is still ranked uh i don't know I, so what i'm leaning towards here i think i'm gonna go with the under 45 and a half yeah i was lo- actually i was looking at the over under two i don't so much love the spread on this one you know my like my Vegas gut instinct says to take the four and a half with Penn State. Uh, mm-hmm. They do have a good defense. I think maybe their defense is even a little better than Ohio State's. Uh, Ohio State probably has a little bit more of the explosive offense, big plays kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm tempted to take the four and a half. I think I put a point on that just for fun, but. Uh, honestly, I'd probably take the under 45 and a half. I think I do like that more than the actual spread and picking a side. Um, but yeah, I was looking at the defense here. Penn State allows under 200 yards a game. Ohio State's Mm -hmm. allowed about 260. And the only reason why I think that is important is they had one good defensive game against Maryland where they held them to 17. That Notre Dame 17 to 14 game, that's looking a little more impressive as the time goes on. Uh, but I'm not sold on Ohio State's defense per se, but I mean, they have more talent. They have the better team. Just something about that four and a half. It seems like it should be six and a half or something. And yeah. uh, so that, I don't know. I guess Vegas is thinking it's going to be closer than I think. I thought it'd be about a touchdown, but um, yeah, I'd probably go under 45 and a half. I'd take the points if you made me. Pick. I'd take Penn State plus four and a half. Yeah, I really can't argue either way. That Ohio State, they've they've shown more with the the Notre Dame win. It's by far the best win on either of these schedules. Uh, yeah, for sure. Penn State Penn State schedule is pretty weak. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, it's just they're like dominant on that schedule. Didn't change when they played Iowa because I was kind of leaning that way. You know, the schedule was weak. You know, Ohio State's proven it. But I think if I had to play one, I'm going under. Yeah, I like that one too. Uh, 